everybody. Let's call this Messy Tech Monday. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer a question for somebody that asked. I did some photographs and a low light video with a Buddha head and they wanted to know how I had got the very small lights that showed a, a radiant star. This is the way that I did it. My sister gave this to me. It is a string of lights that she uses. She's a um, very high quality forest and puts them inside flower arrangements or in table settings to give just that little extra effect. I decided to wrap it around the head of the Buddha. I'll show the picture here and I'll show you the effect that you know I was able to achieve with it. But this was just a little bit of thinking outside of the box. I found this string of lights and I knew someday I'd use it. Some people call this a bokeh string. The other mess that I'm in on Monday, I'm trying to figure out how to make my drone work. I was one of the first to get the solo drone that's made by 3D Robotics and it runs on a on a GoPro camera and I thought well that would be a good idea you know I waited and didn't buy from DJI a Phantom drone because I thought the GoPro would give me a much better picture well what I found out is to try and get these two companies to work together to support the software that integrates just not working for me. I go out, I, I try and get the um, the display to show on my uh, on my picture on my phone so that I can see a picture of where I'm flying. I just can't get there. That's not necessarily safe. I have the FHA 333 exemption. I think I was one of the first in San Diego is a um, realtor to actually have that permission from the FAA to fly. And now I'm pretty much grounded. I'm looking at two DJI options, the Spark and the Mavic Pro. Which direction I go, I'm not really sure, but right now this is, um, this, is this one's just not working. Will 3D Robotics be able to, to correct the problem? They used to have a call-in center. Now you have to do everything by email. They told me it'd be 24 hours. It, like four days later, I get a response. This is just not a working thing. The price of this now, I saw them on Best Buy. If you have a, a refurb model, it's only like $200. I paid about 1000 Technology changes. If anybody thinks that they're going to just immediately go out and buy any one of the new digital devices and have immediate success, not so much so. There's a famous YouTube vlogger named Casey Neistat. He put together a spark and paired the, two, the spark and the controller and he was talking about how it took him 20 minutes to do it. Again, this stuff doesn't happen instantly. If you have any more questions on any technical issue, how I've pulled anything off, please ask me. I'd be more than happy to share. I wish you all the best. Thank you.